What's up, replay viewers? Let's see who tunes on in. The ABX girl, first one in the room, and Ramona in North Carolina, welcome. Good to see you, Amanda Osborne and Crazy Coney Island Kid over in the Phoenix. I hope to see you soon, Crazy Coney Island Kid. Good to see you, hope you're not working too hard. Good to see you, Phyllis2284, welcome. Good to see you, Dave in Bangor, Maine. Good to see you, Indians Exposed, welcome. Good to see you, Carlos, welcome. And uh, JR Explorers in San Antonio, good to see you. Robert T and Hugh W, welcome. And uh, what is that there? Dave Jeffries in Niagara Falls and Sunshine After Rain, welcome. And Jay Chulo, welcome. And Todd Scott from Central Pennsylvania with a $2 super chat. Todd Scott, thank you so much for the very generous $2 super chat. It's behind my, I just realized it's behind the clocks. Uh, Todd Scott, thank you so much for the very generous $2 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $2 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $2 super chat out there in central Pennsylvania. Uh, good to see you there, Michelle King. And Ange, good to see you, Ange. Welcome, everyone. Follow you, Ange. She was at the Tulips this morning. I was going to go to that Tulip event, but then I didn't want to wake up. But I hope you enjoyed the tulips, Ange. Everyone check out Yo Ange's live stream from earlier today. What was it, 20,000, 200,000 tulips in Union Square Park. It was a beautiful sight. Good to see you, Beach Bum. Welcome. Good to see you, Leela, over there in, in, uh, in the great state of Georgia. Good to see you, Leela. And Renee W., welcome. Audrey B. and Sally Skipico, welcome. Good to see everybody, people. Let me try to fix. Let me try to fix this. Let's see if I could fix the graphics here. Oh, this is going to be fun. You're going to see me set this up on live camera. This is what it looks like when I'm setting it up, guys. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this, this guy here needs to be reset. There it goes. And then we, then we, then we get it like that. And let me get it like that. And yes, we have all of our graphics set. Kind of, right? Kind of. Let me get the clock. Let me get the clock right. Let me. Oh, there it is. There we, oh God. Let me get the clock right. This is the joy of web-based. There we go. Web-based widgets, as they're called. Two hundred thousand tulips given out over there in Union Square Park this morning. Good to see you there, Beach Bum. Good to see you there, Curious Raven. Renee W. Flo, good to see you. Damien, welcome. Alan Keenan. Todd Scott, not really, not really a big deal. Yeah, not feeling it. Yeah, not everybody's feeling the eclipse. Good to see you, Natasha. Amanda, it is beautiful outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Found out that people do more than stand in front of 9-11 memorial. What? Stand in front of 9-11 memorial, uh, uh, memorial. They carve their names. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm good to see you there, Beach Bum. Welcome. Good to see you, Dylan Hernandez. Good to see you, uh, Cindy Gomez out there in Lansing, Michigan. Good to see you there, Cindy. And Nadine Smith, welcome. And good to see everybody, people. Good to see everybody. A man restores. Yeah, so there's a whole team of people that, that maintain the names of. Uh, I don't know why we're talking about that. Uh, yes, there's a whole team of people that maintain the names on the September 11th memorial. Uh, good to see you, Alan, uh, Ed Allen. Welcome. Good to see you. Wish you were in Coney right now. Well, this is the next best thing. Thanks to the power of the internet. You are here. Um, I'm asking that myself, John Lore. Good to see you. Good to see everybody, people. Let's get to uh, 74 people. Let's get to 75 likes. Because I know in about a minute we should get to, to 100 people watching. So let's see. Let's get to 75 likes and activate the legs. But good to see everybody, people. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. The Duchess is with her mom right now. Mom and, and Chihuahua Rupert right now. Emma Montana, good day. Welcome. Relevancy is fundamental and key. I, I think so. I'm completely confused. I'm completely confused. But good to see you. Loretta Taylor out there in Manchester. Good to see you, Loretta. And Deborah's over here in Brooklyn. Good to see you, Deborah. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Uh, good to see you, Stephanie. Great. The Duchess is doing great this afternoon. The Duchess is doing fabulous. 
Good to see you, Cynthia. Ava, welcome. Made you upset. You thought... Uh, it does upset me. I, I've known about it for, for a few years now, Beach Bum. All right, so let's might as well. Let's talk about the evolution of bad tourists at the September 11th memorial. So, of course, the first thing that started uh, that was in bad taste was people were posing in front of it like it was like Niagara Falls or something like that with big smiles and big thumbs up. That was the first thing. Then the second thing people started to do was let their children run around free uh, playing around the memorial like it's some kind of playground. Now, while I don't I do not necessarily not condone children having a good time or playing, if you will, in the memorial when they're jumping around and kind of at, like kind of wild. That's kind of disrespectful. Then people started throwing coins uh, into the fountains, and that was quickly stopped. Uh, also, let me not begin to mention all the times, the countless times I've seen people remove the flowers or flags within people's names. That's to signify a certain event in their life, whether it be their birthday. Um, and, and all that. So, um, I, I've, you know, that's also happened. And then, of course, the more recent, this has been going on now for about three, four years, um, the etching of, of, pe of people etching their names into the bronze that has all the names uh, on, on, on the people. And that's very disrespectful. But there's a great team of people that maintain those bronze plaques. Uh, those bronze plaques are designed, uh, you know, in case they're, they're going to be meddled with or anything like that. And, uh, but, but there's a whole team of people that make sure that no carvings, no initials are carved into the bronze and they're quickly buffed out and erased. But there you go, everyone. There is a quick description of, uh, of what's going on. But Cindy Ava, can't wait for the sunset. Me too. Loretta Taylor, welcome. Is it Duchess's mom visiting town? No, she lives here in Brooklyn. Uh, Dylan says, hijackers, okay. Um, shaking my, I'm shaking my head too. And Northwest just became a member of Dutch Moz Plus. Thank you so much, Northwest, for becoming a member of Dutch Moz Plus. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad, JR. It's pretty sad. Uh, yeah, I know you can tell stories. I know, Deborah. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, you saw a lot going on there two years ago. Yep, hasn't changed. Hasn't cha changed. Emma, it is dis disgraceful. Absolutely. Uh, can we enjoy uh, Coney now? Well, I'm catching up to the comments. Um, <laughs> what have, people have taken uh, rubbing alcohol? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. People have done that. People are disrespectful indeed. And Diana Lee's in London. I have caught up with the chat. We only have 73 likes and 100 people watching. Let's get to 75 likes, and you'll activate the legs. You'll activate the legs. But there you go. <laughs> you never know where you never know where this chat's going to take you. But Northwest, thank you so much for becoming a member of Dutch Boss Plus. Please enjoy the custom emojis. Um, good to see uh, Dan the Man out there in New York. Welcome. Good to see you, Dan the Man. And DeBailey is celebrating 27 months of Dutch Moz Plus. Thank you so much, DeBailey, for your continued membership. Over two years of Dutch Moz Plus. It is much, much, much appreciated. Good to see everybody, people. Welcome. Well, 79 likes. Okay, now I guess we could activate the legs. Let's, let's get down to the beach. Let's get down to the beach. Sunset today at 7.25. 7.25, or it's got to be, what, 19.25 on the clock here? Military time here on the clock. We got military time, East Coast time on the clock. Ah, uh, let's see here. Todd Scott asks, have I gone on any rides this season? Yes, I've already rode the Wonder Wheel with you guys here on the live stream. Ah, uh, it's been a long time since Periscope days. Yeah, Dan the Man, yeah. Um, Dan the Man, yeah. Uh, you know, recently somebody tagged me with like 40 other people saying, you know, where are all these people live stream? And I'm like, they posted that tweet the same day I did a four-hour live stream. <laughs> and so I'm here on YouTube. And no, I won't be going back to X. Anyway, it's going to be a great sunset tonight, Derek. Absolutely. Uh, I did not have my Duncan today, Cynthia. I did not have my Duncan. But I did have some... But I did have some pink lemonade in a Dunkin' Donuts cup. So, Deborah, am I, am I, I have not answered that. No, I am covering the eclipse tomorrow. I will be covering the eclipse tomorrow. Yes, I will. I'm glad you enjoyed the lives there, Loretta. Haven't seen me in years. Well, I'm here on YouTube. I've been live streaming here on YouTube since 2017. Since 2017. Everyone shunned me from Periscope. The Periscope community for the most part, shunned me when I began to tell people to come over to YouTube. It is fun seeing people do multi-streams now, and you see the, uh, the image clarity here on YouTube compared to X. So that's kind of fun. 
<laughs> a stunning day indeed. Uh, Alan, the weather here in New York is going to be good. We may have some high clouds, but that won't obscure us viewing the sun through our eclipse glasses. So we should be able to see it. Yeah, Dan, yeah. Yeah. But I live stream almost every day, so I'm happy you, after all this time, I'm happy you found me. Shout out to everyone who blocked me on X, especially the people who are my parents' age. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> now, we'll be covering the eclipse tomorrow, and uh, you'll find out where when you tune in tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This building is still empty. This building is still empty. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's nice out here, guys. Uh, let's see here. Can you see the solar eclipse from the Eiffel Tower? Uh, Dylan, that's a, that's a question for Google. You know, people my parents' age love me, exactly. Good to see you, Emily Gangadine. Welcome. Good to, see you, Rick, uh, good to see you, Rick Fisher. Deborah asks, why is it empty? Why is this building empty? It's because it's like built on like toxic uh, ground or something like that, and they didn't remediate it correctly before they, before they built the building. My mom's doing great. The Duchess's mom is doing great. Thank you so much, Diana. Ange, a couple places you're looking at. Here's the deal, Ange. I want to make sure that I have a good signal. I want to make sure I have a good signal. And I want to make sure that I'm not around too many people. I want to enjoy it. So, yes. I'm going to, I have my spot picked out. And I should have excellent data coverage, even if a lot of people are on the network in Manhattan. And, uh, <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, Todd, I need, a, I need an apartment in that building over there. Yeah, Todd. Yeah, good signal is key. But, uh, well, Dylan, if I go to a crowded place, I may not have a good signal. So that's why I'm planning this out. Remember that here in New York, we're not going to see a total eclipse. It's only going to be... Uh, 89.7% closure, 89.7% closure. So it is going to be quite noticeable, but it's not going to be like the total eclipse that's going to be visible in Syracuse, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, Northern Vermont. Northern Vermont may be the sweet spot. They're going to have like no clouds. Uh, Cleveland's looking better. Also, Austin's looking better, but I don't know about Buffalo and Niagara Falls. <laughs> And I do have my second phone here, so when we get somewhere a little bit more stable, uh, where I'm not walking around, um, I'll start giving you guys weather reports on uh, where is the good, the good places to watch the, the totality and the bad places to watch totality. So that's coming up later in the live stream. Best on YouTube, I appreciate that, Loretta. Yeah, Montreal seems to be in a really good spot. I don't know if Montreal's within totality but it's close i mean it's going to be more than new york i mean they may be like that 95 96 percent but almost 90 percent here in new york is nothing to snuff at when we live stream the last eclipse here in new york the last partial eclipse here in new york in 2017 uh the sky was quite noticeable look crazy so there you go coconut words Yes, indeed, the birds go silent. Good to see a cliff. Ooh, George, you're going to be at 95%. Nice, it is going to be interesting. I hope you have good weather. Yeah, John, I think the light in the shadow is going to be really cool. That's part of the reason why I am streaming where I will be streaming tomorrow. And again, I'm not going to give it up. 
But here's some things about my location. I'm not going to be high up. I will be on the ground. But we will have a view of Manhattan and the skyline and some other notable landmarks here in New York City. It's a very visual place with a very clear view of the sky. You can turn the Eclipse into a drinking game, yeah, if you want to do that. <laughs> May go to your college to see. Yeah, there's lots of watch parties, JR. Cleveland does rock, Madam Mojo. Good to see you. You think you're being this? I, I'm not going to be in Manhattan. I am not going to be in Manhattan. And I'm not going to be here on Laconi Island beach. I won't be here. Wet and windy in Manchester as always. Stay dry. Stay warm. Uh, I have safety glasses procured already. The Duchess picked some up from the library last week. Neither will you? Okay. <laughs> and I'm not going to be here, in, here on this beach here in Coney. John's going to be here. John, I gotta DM you. I gotta DM you, John. Yeah, random exploring. 98.7% closure of the sun here in New York City. So, we're just shy of 90%. I think it's like 80, 89.9 up in the Bronx or something like that. But I am looking forward to it. And there's only one eclipse conspiracy theory that frightens me slightly. It's the earthquake one. Watched videos about the New Madrid earthquake, the New Madrid fault line earthquake uh, today and correlations with eclipses and all that. And that kind of freaked me out. But other than that, uh, Niagara Falls yeah, is the epicenter. Yes, Susan. That's an amazing spot to see it, but they, they may not have good weather. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan's going to go inside his house during the eclipse tomorrow. That's good to know. Uh, no, I think we're coming up on high tide, Diana. I think we're coming up to high tide. Mary Lily, good to see you. Yes, Cynthia, it's very unsettling. <laughs> 95 days till Agilio. There you go. Sarah Banis, good to see you. Probably slept through the quake. Yeah, everyone. A lot of people slept through the quake. Lockload, good to see you. Eclipse and earthquakes aren't related. Yeah, I thought so too, but then I saw some videos and I'm like, eh. Dan, the man will be in his basement. Thanks for letting us know. Photos from around New York. Good to see you. Yes, the Giglio. I cannot wait to cover the Giglio. That's going to be here before we even know it. Going to the pier to watch it over the ocean. Nice. So yes, I'm going to be live around 7 o'clock UK time. Yes. Yeah, 7 o'clock UK time. 2 o'clock Eastern time we'll be going live. The eclipse will begin at around 2.12, 2.15, something like that. The totality, and that's what the eclipse countdown clock on the screen is counting down to, is 3.25. 3.25 tomorrow afternoon here in New York City. The, the sun will be obscured some 98.7%. Not surprised, Cliff? Yeah. Why is it only going over to the United States? Uh, that's a question that you have to look, look it's too, I'm not gonna get into the semantics of how eclipses actually work. But um, to simplify it, rotation of Earth, time and place. And location on Earth too. So. The next eclipse. Now here's, I hope I get to live this long. And will I live stream it? It'll be amazing if I do. But the next eclipse, total eclipse, the next total eclipse is going to be here in New York City, May 1st, 2079. May 1st, 2079 will be a total eclipse. Coney Island is within 
the center line of totality. So we're going to have up to four minutes here in Coney Island of totality in 2079. But here's the even more wild part. It is a sunrise eclipse. So when the sun rises here in Coney Island, the sun will get just above the horizon, right about there. And then you'll see the eclipse. But again, <laughs> 2079, May 1st, 2079. You won't be alive then? Yeah. I'm hoping to be alive. I'll be 100. I would be 100. But there you go. 2079. So I hope to see it. Book your, book your hotel rooms. Book your hotel rooms now, folks. Yeah, there you go, George. Nice. 95. Hank Green has an excellent video about eclipses. There you go. Jennifer, good to see you, Jennifer. What if the moon gets stuck in the middle tomorrow? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. The moon will not get stuck. But it is pretty cool to know that if I could live 100 years, I try to describe it well, Jenna Trainer, but. Yeah. Anyway. But I hope to be here for a sunrise eclipse, a hundred years, in almost a hundred years. I'll be a hundred years old. Will Coney still exist? in 2079 is a legitimate question to ask how different will new york be in 2079 Uh, Dan, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, this is high tide. Tide's coming in. We, we can't even see the, uh, the rock jetty. The rock jetties are almost completely submerged. Pretty warm out here, only in a hoodie and a t-shirt. Pretty warm out here. Only in a hoodie and a t-shirt. Very. I, I thought it was gonna be windier too outside. It's very light wind out here at the moment. How high up the water's getting now. The jetty's way over there. We usually have to walk around the jetties not today, we can't even get close to them. Was it windy earlier, John? There you go, taxi cab. Nebul, buenvenue. Everyone follow Nebul, great live streamer from the south of France. Nebul, did you go live this morning? If you did. Check out Nebul's latest video. Hey, where is everyone? Everyone's further down on the, probably by the amusement district. It's always less people here 
on the west end. It's just neighborhood people usually here on, on the west end. So, But you got some people hanging out on the beach. A lot of people walking dogs. But a lot of people doing what we're doing, just walking. So there's people here, but it's just spread out. Everyone has their own space. And this water is coming right up to here. Uh, Dan the man, uh, watch the replay and find out. Neil L, hello, welcome. A little chill in the air, but it feels nice. Yes, indeed, John. Even on a crowded day, the West End's always, always quiet. That's what makes it nice. It is amazing. Can't wait to come back in August. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have good weather. And um, you'll be able to catch a fireworks Friday. <laughs> it is going to get unsettled after the eclipse. Uh, I think Thursday? I saw a forecast where it's going to rain from Thursday to Sunday next week. So I think we're going to get back into the rain again. Sandra, good to see you. You want to take a walk on the beach? Well, you're here right now taking a walk on the beach thanks to the power of the internet. You got a lot of rain? Yeah. No, Neil. Uh, we're only getting to 89.7% totality here in New York City. Got to go about 400 miles north to, uh, to Syracuse. Jacqueline, good to see you. Keep on hitting that thumbs up. Let's see, what are we at here? Oh my goodness, yeah, see, there's like 30 of you guys who don't even hit the like button, at least. Keep on hitting that like button, guys. Let's keep that two-thirds ratio down. 162 watching and only 118 likes. Yes, I know. Photos from around New York. Yeah, more rain. More rain. Absolutely, Nibble. Got to ride that cyclone. Good to see you, Caramax. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. The breeze feels nice because I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> the cool breeze feels nice. It's chilly though. Once that sun goes down, I'm gonna be cold. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to rush home once, once the sun goes down. Working on your phone, are you MacGyvering it? It's super simple. All you gotta do is just put the, put the uh, glasses, the uh, eclipse glasses over the lenses of the phone and it'll be fine. Random questions brought to us by Schaefer Beard. Taxi Clab asks, what's my favorite garage band era? What's my favorite garage era band? Uh, I don't know, Nirvana. Uh, good to see you, uh, Belinda. Good to see you, Belinda, welcome. Getting weather, mostly rain over here. Yeah, it's gonna rain, I think, the second half of next week. Good to see you there, girl in the curl, welcome. I don't need a group hug, it's all good. Big day tomorrow, yes indeed. <laughs> but you're, uh, it's just a bit wide, you're paranoid. No, no, no need to be paranoid. No need to be paranoid. What's shaking, Laurie? Coney Island. Emma's watching on her TV, awesome. Random questions. Uh, guys, I'm not gonna answer just questions for the sake of answering questions, guys. 
I was tempted to put it, I put that in the pinned comment, like don't ask questions for the sake of simply asking questions. What's better, New York or LA? What's my favorite band? What's my favorite food? Where are the restaurants? We're, in, we're not playing that game tonight. That's right, Dolores, that's right. Enjoy spinning wool. No, this is high tide because we cannot see the jetty. This is why I'm showing the sign here. Look, you can't see the jetty. So this is high tide. So somebody just took a kite up. Why do people do that? I think because they need validation in existing. Uh, Ange. Oh, 20 questions, how about 100 questions? Yeah, I saw that photos. I, either, I saw Tuesday night and then I saw another one that I'm going to go with, which is, I, I think it's going to be Thursday into Sunday. Ex <laughs> exactly, Scott. Good to see you. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Hernandez used to go on a jet ski back in Mexico and Bermuda. Okay. Cookies will not be just did not be will not be distributed on today's live stream. <laughs> you just had the current weather in the in the chat. You literally just had the current weather a few minutes ago. It's like 59 degrees, something like that. Yay! Yeah, sorry, Ange. No cookies today. Ooh, now the wind's picking up. Now the wind's, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. I gotta get a kite and fly it on the live stream. Gotta eat some Coney Island candy, Jacqueline, nice. Let's go fly a kite, that's right. Oh yeah, that wind there, man. Ooh, it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. There you go, 59 degrees with the wind blowing out of something. Chat already bounced up. You know, people do that all the time, Ange. <laughs> yeah, kite with a camera. I'm trying to figure that out, Nibble. Oh, that'd be cool, Belinda. That would be cool. Exactly. No, Ange, you need a good spot where there's no trees. You know, open open space. Let's see. Should we just get on the boardwalk now? It is really cold all of a sudden, right by the water. The wind's coming right off the water right now, so. But it feels good though. As long as I can, let me keep moving here. Let me keep moving. way up there. <laughs> so cool. Dylan thinks the water is shallow. Yeah, the ocean's pretty shallow. Uh, parachute jump playing that uh, playing that Luna Park music this is where I'm going to get the copyright yeah how to put a countdown clock for the eclipse and now we got our clock from the from the uh, home live streams we got a clock here on the, the home live streams clock here on the screen now and it is in military time before people start saying, what's 18 o'clock?
That's a sad note. That's a, why they're playing that song. That's such a sad song. You know, they, they did this the other day in Luna Park. They played the most depressing fucking music. Lori asks, isn't Coney supposed to be open? It is open. It is open. Yeah, exactly. Subtract 12. It's a fucking sad song, man. Mommy and Daddy divorce music at Luna Park. That's such a sad song. Really? No shit. All right, Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. Your sarcasm got you blocked. <laughs> there you go, folks. There you go, folks. Great lesson on how you get blocked. <laughs> now, now he's going to go complain to the other people's live streams, which is cool. Which is cool. Uh, I, I, you used to be somebody... You used to be somebody I, I used to know. You used to be somebody before. That song. Fucking depressing ass song. I need a beer. I need a beer. I'm happy you guys can't hear it. It's a depressing song. This <laughs> is what happens when you don't respect the chat, exactly. Didn't have to cut you off, yeah, exactly. It's a song that's stopped. <laughs> Irina, Irina, I'm so sorry that song is played nonstop in Planet Fitness. <laughs> if that's supposed to be a motivational song to get you to work out, that is the wrong fucking song. <laughs> Good to see you, Flo. Welcome. If I missed you, welcome to the show. Now, if I if if, if I seem, if I, no, 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 something like that, Ange. Something like that, Ange. Anyway, so I wore a Schaefer. Amen. So, if I seem a little salty today, ladies and gentlemen. About 90 minutes ago, before I started the chat, a gigantic piece of tooth dislodged, and I lost a piece of one of my back teeth while eating lunch today. It doesn't hurt. I'm not bleeding. It actually, I don't even feel it right now, so it's fine. I'm talking okay, but my mouth feels a little weird, and I have to go to the dreaded dentist at some point this week, so... Full disclosure, guys. I gotta go spend money I don't have, but hey, it happens. I was thinking about it though. I was like, I haven't been to the dentist in a while, so yeah. Salt. I already put salt on it. I already put salt on it, and it's fine. It didn't hurt. I didn't. Even, I'm pretty sure I swallowed the tooth or the chunk of tooth that broke off. So <laughs> I hate the dentist too. You thought it was in pay for it? Here you go. Thank you so much, Stefan. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, no. I see. That's one thing I'm not going to eat. Corn. Corn on the cob. I'm not going to eat that. No, no, no. No candy for me today. Good to see you, Arjun. You know, I thought about that, Ed Allen. I do want to go to Mexico for something like that. If I want to get, like, new teeth. I hope so, too, Trisha. I hope so, too. Finger, fingers crossed, Trisha. Fingers crossed. Go every three months, nice. Yeah, I don't have insurance, so. I don't have insurance, so I'm kinda, I'm kinda screwed. <laughs> I'll feel better, guys, I'm good. Get credit, get care credit, if anything, okay. Yeah, I was looking into all that stuff, so. <laughs> but this is what happens when you don't like going to the dentist, and I'm like, I'm like afraid of the dentist, that's like my one fear, so. <sighs> anyway. Know how it feels? You have two bridges. Yeah. Yeah, random. Yeah, speaking of candy. Oh my god, taffy. Yeah, yeah, don't eat taffy, guys. You'll take the gas even for teeth cleaning. Okay, Irina. You'll stay in New York? Yeah, I don't know. I know insurance is no great shakes, yeah. But 
Uh, what was the name? Bonomo. Bonomo. Bonomo was the taffy company here in Coney. Bonomo. Yeah, I know some of the hospitals have a uh, peanut. I haven't eaten peanut brittle since I was a kid. <laughs> I haven't eaten peanut brittle since I was a kid. It's like chilly right here by the water, I tell you what. It's really chilly here. Yep, Bonomo. Yep, Snickers, no good, James. All right, so Flo, Charleston Chews are the thing that destroyed my teeth. Me and my mom used to love Charleston Chews. My mom used to like the Charleston Chews frozen. She used to put them in the freezer. I would just eat them and chew on them like they were chewing tobacco. Destroyed my teeth in just a few years. Yeah, uh, photos. Yeah, somebody told me about NYU. I got to look into NYU over at Lutheran Medical Center. So... But I, I, I had a, a piece of a, of a Tootsie Roll the other day, and I think that's what messed me up. Marry a Michigan State employee. <laughs> nice. Cindy, I wish I would. I wish I could. I'm married to the Duchess already. <laughs> you can see my shadow? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's, try, let's get away from it. It's actually cold right here by the water. Oh man, I kind of wish I had my other jacket, but then again, it's like, I'll be too hot. Your mom did as well, yeah. Thank God for MTA insurance, yeah. I'll say. Ooh, it's fucking cold over here. It's, it's cold. Let me get off the beach here. I know that if I go just a little bit inland, it'll be, it'll be warmer. Morning sickness destroyed your teeth. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know the other day I, I, I was like, the other night I was like grinding my teeth in sleep and when I went to go brush my teeth there was like quite a bit of blood. No doubt it was this tooth that fell apart while I was eating my Popeye's chicken. No, I'm not in pain. That's the thing. I'm not in pain. It just kind of feels weird because there's like a sharp edge to the tooth. Beautiful scenery, Natasha. Absolutely. What are we about now? 40 minutes? 40 minutes to our sunset? Chemo hurts teeth. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let's see. Ooh, the vendors are out. Mommy, I want salmonella chicken. Mama, Mama. Que quiero polo y semalonela. Mira, mira eso. Mira. Para la pollo a la la salmonella. <laughs> Guys, I wouldn't recommend it, alright? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, TJ's here. TJ's here. TJ is a Coney Island character that is on a, not the most reputable uh, Instagram account, but he's always shouted out by uh, Gorilla Nems and the Go Fuck Your Life crew. Good to see you there, uh, RJ, out there in Colorado. <laughs> Oh yeah, TJ's, TJ's vibing out. Yeah, he's vibing out. <laughs> Joe Byron, that's right. That's right, Flo. See more wacky adventures with TJ uh, at Coney Island TV. I don't know if they're still up on Instagram. They keep, they keep, they keep getting blocked. Yeah, the board books, of course, it's been updated. We got new rides.
I have a feeling everyone's going to close on time today. Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Good to see you, Charlie Way from Caracas, Venezuela. There any special hardware I'm using to capture? No, just my Eclipse glasses. That's it, Charlie Ray. I live streamed the last Eclipse in 2017, and that's all I needed. You just put the Eclipse glasses over the lens of the phone, and you're good to go. Cindy Gomez, you're more than welcome. Yes, yes, indeed, John. Did you get to see that? But yeah, just uh. I'm just going to put Eclipse glasses over the lens. I did it last time and it worked out perfectly. And I should have a better, I should have a better zoom this time around. So Cindy, the Coney Island Museum is over on West 12th Street. I'll walk past the building for you if you want. I'll do that now. But unfortunately we can't go in the museum because it's quite small. So. Uh, Trisha, the Duchess got the glasses from the, from the library for free. Yep, last week. I think some I think some some of the Brooklyn Bridge vendors did migrate to Coney. Uh, do they have a Ridley's? Are, are Ridley's believe, believe it or not? No. No. No Ripley's believe it or not in Coney. We don't have a wax museum anymore and a lot of that stuff is gone. I'm going live tomorrow at two o'clock Eastern time. Two o'clock Eastern time. Two o'clock Eastern time will be, will be live for the entire duration of the eclipse. <laughs> That's eclipse. My dad had a few beers. I remember, and he was saying, he kept on calling it the eclair. <laughs> so yes. Oh my god, are we really having a a shit signal right here? Wow. Do we really have a shit signal right here? This is the repeater. Oh wow. Suffering because uh they turned on the repeater. Oh we gotta stay away from this building now. They have the repeater. The repeater is turned on. Might be buffering a little bit here. Because there is a cell phone repeater on top of this building. Guess they turned it on. A repeater's for a cell phone network. There we go. There we go. We're back. We're back with a good signal. All right, so let me, let me explain the, the, the repeater. So this over here, this is part of the aquarium. This is a building that's part of the aquarium. And they have a cell phone repeater there, which basically boosts the signal. And it's only, I think it's, a, I think it's like, a, like a local network. So it's only for the people who work at the aquarium. So yeah, it zaps, it zaps the network. Benson Hurst, Benny hit, did a hit on this, he did. Oh, Benny Z, Benny Z, Neil. Benny Z, good to see you there. Uh, Jose Torres, way pa Puerto Rico, buenvenidos. But yes, we're back. Yeah, the repeater plays havoc with the, with my signal and my setup because I'm on, I'm on two networks. But see, now that I'm moving away from it, now I'm getting a really strong return back. So I'm all the way back up in the 4,000 range again. Might have to refresh the stream to make sure that you're up to date with the chats. Yes, Ed, the cyclone is running. Want to see it run? Let's see it run. 
So I think they're gonna send it out any minute now. Jacqueline says, show my face. Check out my replay to see my face. Did we pass Nathan's yet? No, we passed Nathan's on the boardwalk. Not the original Nathan's on Stillwell Avenue. The 97 year old Coney Island Cyclone standing at 85 feet tall. Maximum speed around 61 to 65 miles an hour. But yeah, you want to see my face? I did a whole live stream the other day with just my face on it. No need to direct the live stream. I know some people aren't paying attention. It's fine. We're going to play a thousand questions today. So that's what it's going to be like tomorrow. So the moderators better be on point tomorrow because it, it, I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a shit show. No, the Cyclo was never a different color. Uh, some, maybe like the red trim, the red trim on the on the uh, handle there, on the um, on like the fence, I guess, the railing, um, maybe brighter in the past. So it's a hybrid structure. So the track is wood and the structure itself is steel. Yeah, so it, oh yes, yeah, true. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna see my face, give me a twenty dollars super chat, and I'll show you my face all day long. Good to see you, Myrna, up there in Montreal. A fantastic spot to see tomorrow's eclipse. <laughs> Jumping in Luna. All right, I think they, I think they just got sent out. That's right, Scott. That's right. I want to watch this cyclone go off. No, uh, Myrna, uh, Montreal is looking really good for cloud cover. You may get a maybe 10% clouds. Uh, very high, high uh, atmospheric clouds you may get tomorrow, Myrna. So I think you're going to be perfectly good for the eclipse. And are you, are you in the line of totality? Or are you cl you're close to it, right? If you're in totality, I think you may be in one of the best spots on in North America to see totality. Jose Torres, way pa Puerto Rico, buenvenidos, Jose Torres. Belinda's asking what's happening tomorrow. We have a countdown clock on the screen. It's gonna be a partial eclipse tomorrow. We're 20 hours and 34 minutes away. I'm not in a good mood. I'm sorry about that, Jacqueline. Buenvenido, buenvenido. Buenvenidos. I want to see this cycle. I want to see this cyclone cycle. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Montreal may be one of the best spots. It may be a bust for places like Niagara Falls and Buffalo tomorrow. Very, very close to totality. Nice. Nice. Mirna, I hope you have a great time viewing it. Yeah, you never know, Cliff. Yeah, I think the chat's going to be kind of funny tomorrow. Yeah, ooh, subway train over there. The F and the Q trains right down the way. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, no, uh, folks from around New York, but from what I hear, anything above 85% is very noticeable so we're getting to almost 90 percent here in the five boroughs so i have a feeling it's going to be very visual you want a view of the sky you know like a big and i and i have picked out a view where we see a skyline view and everything it's going to be really great tomorrow 98 percent in western maine dolores i think you're going to have a great view of that eclipse tomorrow uh no clouds really forecasted for western maine and northern vermont Yes, the falls and buffalo will still get darkness, yes. The birds always get confused during eclipses. It's been historically noted. Let's see, I, thought they, I keep on thinking they're sending it out and they're not. they're not. They won't fall though. No, they'll be confused, but they won't fall out of the sky. Come on, I wanna see the cyclone cycle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, photos. Yeah, the last eclipse in 2017, when we live streamed that, uh, it was cloudy 
But yeah, the dim in the sky was very noticeable and that was what, only 70 something percent? It was nothing. Yes, Houston is in the line of totality. And let me get a cloud cover map for, uh, for Houston here. Or is it not connecting to the Wi-Fi? Oh, it's not connecting to the Wi-Fi. Eclipse cloud map, North America. See, that's how I do a search, everyone. Good to see in, uh, Keith McNeil out there in Michigan. Rain tomorrow in Duluth. Sorry to hear about that, Fawn Marie. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll start doing some weather forecasting in a moment here. Time to watch the 97-year-old Coney Island Cyclone do its thing. 85 feet tall, maximum speed around 61, 65 miles an hour. There she goes, baby. There she goes. Good to see you, Frank, out there in uh, Jersey City. Yeah, I think the, 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 the birds will start roosting, exactly. The birds will start roosting, people. Wow, you drove, drove, drove to Vermont. Yeah, it's gonna be great up there. Foot of snow, foot of snow up there. So they, they, there's snow on the ground up there in Vermont. Running good today. Running really good today. Running really good today. And another successful ride on the 97-year-old Coney Island Cyclone. No, I don't think you need to go on that ride, John. If you have a bad back, a bad pack. If you do ride it, John. All right, if you don't want a as bumpy ride, here's the tip. Each car, there are three cars for each train and the two center benches. Those tend to be a smoother ride because you're not sitting right on top of a wheel axle. Wow, Frank, that's pretty cool. Love the sound of the cyclone, me too. Warby Parker did have them and most libraries did have them. But uh, from what I'm hearing, Trisha, everybody's out. Everybody's out. A couple of the New York One reporters did some Instagram stories today. And they're, and they're like looking for glasses. And I like, you, you can't find them. You can't find them anywhere. Surf City is pretty good, Cindy. They have nice pizza. Uh, I like their sausage rolls in there. And uh, I had pasta there a couple of times too. It was pretty good. That's right, Lori. What's the best, uh, what, again, what's the best place to sit on the cyclone? The two center benches for each car. So if, you know, for the most part, you can't pick where you sit, but if you sit in the two center benches on, in each car, you're not sitting on top of an axle. So it's, so it's, it's a bit, you know, smoother. You get a little bit more uh, give. Probably the most comfortable seat with the most airtime and laterals is the next to the last bench. The last bench, you're gonna get beaten up. That's true, Neon, that's very true. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I mean, doing the live streams on the Cyclone all those years, you know, there were a few times where I'm, I, I scratched up my knuckles and stuff, so. <laughs> but I always say, Try to be loose like spaghetti when you ride the cyclone. Don't be like old tents. They're literally running around me. Yeah, Mark, you shouldn't ride it, Mark. Yes, Frank, yeah, all places are out of, all places are out of glasses. Ah, uh, yeah.
right now. I don't want to eat nothing. I, wanna... uh, I think it's called the Dragon Roller Coaster, Irina. I think it's called the Dragon Coaster. Now, if you want the best vegan option, it's right around the corner here. I'm going to show you. Good to see you, my Mia. Welcome. Chef Pads. Hello. Welcome. Here's the Phoenix. The newest coaster in Coney. Yeah, exactly. If you got a shoe box or a cereal box, make a pinhole projector. Where will I be tomorrow? Somewhere in New York City. Tune in and find out. Angela, tune in and find out. Oh, there he is, Crazy Coney Island, kid. You're, I'm back. Day six. Yeah, day six. You doing all right? Yeah. <laughs> it got cold. What the hell? Yeah. Good. That's good. No, maybe later. Maybe later. I don't. I, I don't have my my chest mount. So. <laughs> Only one. Only one. We tried. Oh. We tried. It's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all good. Crazy Coney Island. Everyone follow Crazy Coney Island Kid on his YouTube. The Coney Island crooner, everyone. Right? <laughs> it's gonna be. It's looking good. I'm gonna get it back to the pier now. Freeze my ass. You guys, a little busy. It's quiet though. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. That ride's a nightmare. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the DMC here. Phil Collins is gonna have my ass now. <laughs> anyway, follow Crazy Coney Island, kid. But anyway, if somebody was asking about the museum. There's the museum right over there. That's 1208 Surf Avenue, Coney Island, Circus Sideshow. Last day of the Sideshow Hoot Nanny over there. A whole bunch of uh, unique circus performers have descended on Coney for this weekend. So last night of that, about to, literally starting up now. And there's the link. Thank you so much, Neil. Everyone follow Crazy Coney Island, kid. We're now on the Bowery. We're just behind the Eldorado Auto Scooter. The Fun Society, shown in the TV show, Mr. Robot, right here. Thanks for subbing the Crazy Coney Island kid, Myrna. Myrna, you won't be disappointed. Now, if you want some vegan options, we got this first place here. This is like Peruvian food here. This is really good. The rice tastes like my mom's rice. And then right next door, we have Donna Zita. And Donna Zita has full vegan options. Tacos, burritos, and all that other good stuff. So Mark, I'll be live tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern time for the eclipse. And don't forget to bump, bump, bump your ass off. Let's see, we got a new claw machine here. What they got here? What they got here? Let's see, is the, uh, anything new? Anything new? Yeah, it's Sonic. Yeah, lots of good food. Lots of good food. Weather's gonna be great here in Coney. So looking forward to the eclipse. All right, it is 7.01. It's nice having a clock on the screen. It's nice having a clock on the screen because I know exactly what time it is. Let's head back out onto the uh, boardwalk here. Good to see you, Rose. Welcome. Thank you so much, Dave Jeffries, for sharing Crazy Coney Island Kids link. Heck tag did this wall right here. Love these, love these murals. I'm going to go freeze my ass for you guys up on the boardwalk. 
more precisely up on the pier. I know they're still gonna ask what time it is. Yeah, I know. It's like, what is 19 o'clock? That is, Rose, are you looking forward to the warmer weather? Good to see you, Rose. Yeah, next, I think next Tuesday, they said 70 degrees. Something crazy like that. You can rewind to check out the vegan options. Yes, you can. Gotta love those Coney Island murals. Coney Island art walls. Hopefully we'll get some new murals for the summer. And hopefully the Coney Island art walls will be accessible more often. They're, they haven't been very accept, uh, accessible as of late. So now we're walking along Stillwell Avenue, back to the boardwalk. And we are about to walk up this uh, ramp here. This is where they filmed the infamous Coney Island Warriors come out who play. That was filmed right there. Right there where you're looking at. Crazy Coney Island Kids on Instagram and on YouTube. Follow him on YouTube and on Instagram. Crazy Coney Island Kid's doing a series on, he's counting, he's recording himself each day working as a ride operator. <laughs> right here. Right here is where they filmed that infamous Warriors Come Out and Play scene, right here. Good to see you, Jim. Welcome. Just in time for sunset, which is now about 20 minutes away. Let's say 19. Great movie, still a great movie. Still a great movie. Filmed it right there. You can't actually stand where the warriors stood though in that scene. Ah, awesome, Rose. Awesome. Let's get onto the pier and take in our, it's the sunset really, oh, I gotta go really far out. I gotta go way out onto the pier to get an obstructed view. I think the sun is making its, it's made its way back behind the buildings. So sunset on the Coney Island Creek is now in bloody hell, all in caps. Okay. Uh, people, New York City people, what the name of the guy, of that guy? I want to look at my re my. It really bugs me. I can't remember his name. Anybody know? Uh, no, no, Mark, no. How long am I gonna be on YouTube for tonight? Uh, for a little bit longer. We're just gonna watch the sunset, and that's gonna be it. I mean, you can watch somebody else. I mean, if your favorite YouTuber came on, it's fine. You can tune out. We're just gonna watch sunset right now. Yep, 727. So about what, 21 minutes? Oh, it's next month is Coney Henge. Okay. Yeah, but the sun is way over there, Jim. It's coming, it's coming back this way still? Listen, there's this thing that bugs me. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is. I don't know how to describe what it is, but it really bugs me. Do you know what that is? Quack, 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 quack,
left, right, cha cha cha, and left, right, cha cha cha, and spin, and spin, and left, right, cha cha cha, left, right, cha cha cha, and left, right, cha cha cha. <laughs> They're playing all the music here. See, it's going behind the buildings. I gotta get, I gotta get way out there. Yeah, just sing over that copyright, right guys? A little bit of both, John. A little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Right? Jamming on a Sunday. That's right. That's right, me and the Dutch is dancing salsa. This is the Luna Park mix from the from the parachute jump. That that's a lot uplifting than somebody who I used to know. I'll take I'll take that song. <laughs> all right, let's go all. Hey, looks like we're going all the way out. I think he wants to know what that crazy Coney Island thing that guy, I, the crazy Coney Island kid, right? The answer to that is crazy Coney Island kid. I think, right? I don't know people. Yeah, everyone's playing music out here today. Oh, we gotta go all the way to the end of the pier. We have like 11 minutes. We'll make it out there. It got chilly out here. It was like hot when I left the house. Oh, Mark's talking about Periscope people. Mark, we're not going to talk about Periscope people. People! We're not going to talk about Periscope people, Mark. I'm sorry. He had an address and everything. Uh, you saw that, Nibble? He had, he, had, he had the address and everything. <laughs> yeah, relevancy people. People love asking random questions in chats, I realize. I don't know why you like vanilla. I don't know. I don't know why you like such flavors and or colors. Maybe in such combinations. I don't know why. These are your own choices, people. Can we focus on sunset? No, people want to be uh, validated. People want to be validated on, on existing, so they, they, they ask questions. <laughs> they want to be validated on existing, so. Mm -mm. Yeah, we got to go all the way out to the end of the pier to see the view. Who the what? How long is the pier? A couple of hundred feet. <laughs> Alexa, how long is the Steeplechase Pier in Coney Island? Okay, Google. How long is the Steeplechase Pier in Coney Island? Siri, how long is the Steeplechase Pier in Coney Island? Yes, indeed, John Lore. This is a nice walk. Do they allow smoking on the beach? Technically, no, but people smoke. Any New York City park, you're not allowed to smoke in, but it's not really enforced. Everyone's out fishing. High tide. It is high tide, people. All right. Let's see if we could get a little a view of the sun here. And if you counted how many steps I just did, that's how long the pier is. <laughs> okay, but what's the point of that, Mark? Why are you asking me that now? What's the, what's the point? That you need, you need reference? You need to be reminded? Is that it? You can probably ask these questions on Google and they'll find, they'll give you an answer too. Yeah, water temperature, 46 degrees. <laughs> there you go, Neil. There you go. All right, we got our sunset view. There it is. It's gonna go behind those buildings. I wanted to go all the way to the end, but there's a whole bunch of young kids over there. 
so we'll just stay here for now. Some people are just persistent at it, you know, John? Sometimes people are just persistent at such stuff. Yeah, Frank, that's what they're programmed to do. The sun's going to go right behind those buildings as it continues to go down. All right, all right, all right, Mark. Mark, you can't, you can't put the bed, you can't put the baby to bed, huh? We can't. We gotta take the bath, the bath water out with the baby here. So there you go. It's okay, Lori. Good to see you. Good to see you, Julie B. Welcome. No need to moderate, by the way, guys. No need to moderate. Sometimes people don't know when to like drop it. Mark, Mike, you're more than welcome for the beautiful sunsets. Mark is tripping on ancient history. Let's see if we can get a little bit further out. Let's see if we can get a little bit further out here. Nailed it yet again? Yeah. No, we lucked out today. We lucked out today. All right, we're all the way at the end of the pier now. And now we're good. Now we're good. Oh yeah, still gotta go behind those buildings though. I know you're trying to enjoy sunset, Carlos, I know. But there you go. Our Coney Island sunset underway. It's over already in about, uh, what was that there, 10 minutes? Yeah, I know, Nibble. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what name it is, I don't know. Let's see, what are we at here? Oh, 207, all right, that's good. Okay, we got, we got a good, we got a good uh, ratio going on here. So that's good. Yeah, it's that guy. It's that guy there. It's that guy there. Yeah, that guy there. Mayor Smalls, they call him. Yeah, yeah. What is that guy there? From uptown there. They call his name Bats. They're driving me crazy about it. Yes, you're looking at my dream condo, Fawn Murray. It's in the shot, actually. Jennifer, you're more than welcome. He's from over there. Oh, you over here now? Yeah, I'm over here now. You know the guy downtown with the guy with the guy who had beef on him? They call his name Bats, but they drive me fucking crazy. They drive me fucking crazy about this guy. Find out what the fuck's wrong going on over there. All right. All right, Paulie. <laughs> if you knew what movie I was referencing, 10,000 internet points to you. <laughs> I was referencing a movie. Sunset is going to go behind the buildings. Or it's going to just touch them by the time it gets to the horizon. But again, I'll be live tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Yeah, that's right, Neil. Good fellas. That's right. That's after they whacked Billy Bats. Spoiler alert. Now go get your shine box. <laughs> Ooh, chilly out. This wind picking up. It's chilly out here, guys. Love the colors, me too.
Uh, it's working now, but timing out spotty internet connection. Do we have a bad connection, guys? I don't think we have a bad connection. I think we have a really good connection right now. Steve Cruz, good to see you, my friend. Best gangster, most realistic gangster movie ever, John. That's <laughs> right, now go get your fucking shine box. Every time I block somebody, it's go get your fucking shine box. <laughs> it's not spotty for you, connection is good, all good, all good, all good. There's always engagements that take place here. It's good for Bailey. awesome. Yeah, Joe Pesci, he's a fucking hilarious guy over there. Good over there, okay, good. I got a good connection. Yeah, I'm getting those signal indicators on my end. We're, we're staying within the 4,000 range. We're staying within the 4,000 range right now, so we got a very strong signal here. I have a feeling Manhattan may have issues with the cell network when the eclipse happens tomorrow. Uh, a, a lot of a lot of places are going to have parties, and I have a feeling those eclipse parties may be the a bad spot to live stream the eclipse. So I was thinking, uh, I'll tell you where I'm not going to be, where I was going to go. I was planning on going to Pier 57, and then once I found that there was an eclipse party happening there, um, I was like, you know what? It's it's going to be probably crowded. I want to be away from humans. So that's right, Neil. I am here to amuse you. Magical scene indeed, Dave. And you can see there's a little bit of a wind there. You see the, the, the lens flare bouncing around there. And that sun's going to go right behind these buildings. So once we, lose, once we lose actual sight of the sun there, we'll call it. But we're all the way out at the end of the pier, completely surrounded by water. Pier 6, Pier 5 may be very good, Deborah. People could really spread out in that place over there. So I think that'll be a fine spot. Or even just a promenade. I think the promenade will be a good spot also. That's right, JR. That's right. GF Jerg, it's good to see you. Yeah, we saw the house where Tommy got whacked because he killed, uh, he killed Billy Bats. That guy downtown with the guy who had the beef on him, the one with the guy. <laughs> Told him to go get his shine box. He killed him. <laughs> it's gonna, we're, we're kind of seeing an eclipse right now as the sun goes behind these buildings. This is pretty cool. Love good fellas, me too. 720. Desiree Vaudeur, Buenvenue. Shout out to all my French and Canadian viewers, and shout out to my French Canadian viewers. Ah, it's all good there, Cindy. Welcome back. The sun is get, literally going behind this, these apartment buildings right now. So you're getting a little bit of a building eclipse right now. You're more than welcome, Nibble. It is beautiful. This is very interesting. This is going behind the building here. And as the sun gets lower, the wind is picking up. As it always does. It always does this shit. Well, it gets fucking cold out. It's getting really cold out here. Ooh, look at it getting darker. Ooh, it's getting darker. Really going into the shadow. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, GF. It's going to be interesting. You're more than welcome, Porn Marie. Emma, I'm glad you find this very calming.
it behind the building and down goes the sun. Down goes the sun, down goes the sun, down for another day. Down goes the sun, the moon's in a neutral position. <laughs> but down goes the sun, it's behind the building, so we're going to call it now, Frank. I know we're four minutes early. But down goes the sun, down for another day. Central time zone, you're up next. But say exactly, Cheese Puff, practice for tomorrow. I'm going to get off this pier. I'm going to get off this pier because it's fucking freezing up here now. Fucking freezing. Let's get moving. Oof. Beautiful though, right guys? Beautiful. Ooh, the wind's coming right off the water right now. And it is cold. So good night, Cindy. Glad you enjoy, Michelle. We're going to walk over to Stillwell Avenue. And that's where I'm going to no doubt rendezvous with the Duchess. <laughs> Sorry, headphone viewers. I know, Cliff, it's going to be pretty cool. More than welcome, Frank. Dolores, you're more than welcome. I sound like you now, John. <laughs> Ooh, the parachute jump just turned on. The lights on the parachute jump just turned on. Thank you so much, Steve. And Jen Jennifer H., winner of the latency lottery. And Steve Cruz, a very close second. But tomorrow at 3.25 Eastern time, 90% of the sun will be obscured by the moon here in New York City. So tune on in. GF, Ger GF Jerks, Girl in the Curl. I'll feel real nice when, the, when I get into the warmth. Yes, indeed, Emma. Yes, I will. Curse all the fucking time, yeah. Frank, uh, the brewery doesn't open. It's not open anymore. Unfortunately, the brewery closed. Norm, I'm glad you're enjoying watching on YouTube Premium. It's much appreciated. We got to walk over to uh, Stillwell Avenue, and that's where we'll bring this live stream in for a landing. Yeah, so, you know, Jim, I was reading on that. Yeah, even with 90% of the sun being obscured, uh, the uh, temperature's got to drop. So I'm, 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 I'm very interested. Jim, I'll let you know also where I'm going to be. Oh, I see. I see a beautiful model. I see this beautiful model. She's in all the magazines. She's on Vogue and, and Seventeen. And, mm. All right, everything's all good in the world. <laughs> oh my God, the Duchess was waiting on the train for 40 minutes. I'll see you guys at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Yes, indeed. Had a friend in high school when he sneezed, you go, ah, 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 shit. <laughs> there you go, Steve. No, the Brooklyn Brewery didn't close. The Coney Island Brewery closed. The Coney Island Brewery closed. But Jim, I'll let you know where I'm at. And John Lore, I'm going to let you know where I'm at. And John Lore, for you, they should be parking where I'm going to be. But we're not going to be in Manhattan. We will be here somewhere in Brooklyn. We're not going to be on the beach here in Coney Island, at least on this beach here in Coney Island. But it's going to be a fantastic eclipse coverage. Ooh, I'm starting to see. Oh, that's his smoke. That was his smoke coming out of my mouth. Oh, my God. I inhaled so much of that guy's smoke. I'm like, is that cold? I'm seeing my breath already. So, Deborah, I won't be going to Brooklyn Bridge Park, but... Again, Pier 5, Pier 6, really good locations. Even, even the, uh, the promenade would be a good location, I think. I'm going to change it up. Because I know everyone's going to be live streaming tomorrow, the eclipse. We should be in a nice, unique spot with a strong signal. Exactly, JR. Exactly. A good live streamer never gives up his spot. Actually, we'll end it right here. I'm going to use this bench. All right, people, 2 o'clock tomorrow, we will be back in the greatest city in the world, New York, and we're going to watch the eclipse, so join me tomorrow. And from Coney Island, this is Dutch Mars and the Duchess signing off. 
Have a fantastic Coney Island day, whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones, cherish those moments. And I will see you tomorrow on Eclipse Monday, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.